construction. Where you have written. Also written. 40 degree where I can see 40. Where you have written, you have this right on that 40 degree. I'm saying angle S is 40 degree now, right there, 40. Oh, okay. 40 at the right also. We, but we don't write, we just make that no, angle you have, wala sign. No, you have to write also. You have to write. Right on that 40 degree. Where should I write? Angle S is 40, no? so right there, 40. Shortcut. And angle Y is also 40, so there also write 40. Angle Y is also 40 degree, no? In the second triangle. Second triangle, second. X, Y, Z. First, is, first triangle is R, S, T, correct? Second triangle is X, Y, Z. In X, Y, Z, angle Y is also 40 degree. No? Yeah. Ah, there also write 40 degree. Yeah. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. Where do you write Y, Y. Y, yeah, why? Put up the outside, no, inside. How do you write angle? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's cool 40. Like this, like this, do this way and write this way. Here, how I have done no 40 that way. Here, also 40 degree. Also, you have not written like this. Hmm? This, this, is the, this is the long time. No, this, this is always done. Also, you have not so written point X. Where is point X in the second triangle? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Now we'll do that uh, other one. Both sum was remaining. Now we'll just do this. And also, one. second sum, hmm. can you, tell, like, can you, uh, how you, I don't know. Which second? Know Which second one? Second one in practice said 4.1. No. Uh, what I'll happened? See, I know. I'll, I'll see the recording. Because hmm. I don't remember the step after drawing that arc. So I okay. just copied the diagram. Oh. Okay. 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 I'll put the, I'll upload How book. to do that step by step. I'll have to see the recording. Okay. I will upload. I have not uploaded it. I will upload it today. Okay, I'll put the fourth question. I have say say. Yeah, now I have everything. Okay, fine. Now in this triangle. A M T and A H E. Uh, a M T is similar to A H E. This is given. Now, is there any point common in these two triangles? A H E. Yeah. 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 Yes. So there is a point common. In this. So this is very much similar to the second sum that we did. Okay. So, uh, so then show how to do this so then I can uh, uh, I can go my second one on my own. Yeah, but there uh, it is different, but little bit different. In the second one, what was there? Length of the bigger triangle was given, and we had to construct the smaller one. This is opposite. Length of the smaller triangle is given, and you have to construct a bigger one. So the ratio is given AM upon AH equal to 7 upon 5. AM comes from triangle AMT and AH comes from triangle AHE. So looking at the ratio, can you tell which triangle is a bigger one and which triangle is a smaller one? 
AM AM this is a bigger triangle and this is a smaller triangle okay now if you look at the second one in this okay in this one AM uh, lens or measurement of triangle AMT is given. That means measure lens of the bigger triangle is given to you. Huh? And you have to construct the smaller triangle. While in the previous second one, length of the smaller triangles were given to you and you had to construct the bigger one. Are you getting the difference? Okay. So first let us write down the lens. First, AMT is given. So in triangle AMT, AM is given as 6.3 and angle TAM is given as 50 degree and AT is given as 5.6. So first we will construct this bigger triangle. First, we'll construct this bigger triangle and then with the help of that triangle, we'll construct a smaller one. Hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Have I sent you the uh, PDF of my school exam? Yeah. Yes, I got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, first, we'll construct the base. So we'll take 6.3, the highest side, we'll take it uh, to be the base. So, let's do this. We'll take the base uh, 6.3. So, let's take 6.3. AM 6.3, we'll take that to be the base. So, 1, 2. Three, 6.3. Do it along with me. Uh, yeah, I just had one question yesterday. Why did yours not come like mine? What? Why did I? When you were doing the second sum, I practice at 4.1. Uh -huh. Why you did not get like how I was? <laughs> ah, my measurements were not proper. That's why. So write down the question first and uh, after that, write down this, huh, which is bigger and which is smaller and then write this lens and then construct the base. <clears throat> and uh, you did not write it, uh, you did not draw the rough figure. Ah, I did not do that. No, it's okay in this, it's okay if we don't do the rough figure. Yesterday, when I could not do the second one, I looked into the textbook. In the textbook, nowhere it is shown how to do uh, what we were doing. It is shown. Like this, what we did know that three uh, ratios we made, and then we took the first two, then the second two, and then all of us, nowhere, no, no, nobody has done that. That working is skipped. In the textbook, if you see the example sum, the working is skipped directly. They have written the answer. Yeah. Also, here now, I feel better if you write one note. Lens of the bigger triangle is given lens of bigger triangle is given and using that you have to construct the smaller triangle while well, second one it was other way around smaller was given and you had to construct the bigger one with this you check only when a point is common if there are two completely different triangles, then no need to check. Only when a point is common, then you have to check that which is bigger, which is smaller, what is given. <clears throat> yeah. Now I should draw what? The base. Construct the base. 
have you written this line in triangle amt yes. am is 6 okay now construct the base am as 6.3 do the construction uh two two triangles will be going no one only when a when there is a point common na then the triangle is one only if you see in the second one also a point was yeah. common so only one triangle and that only became into two yeah yeah no no but i was asking that uh, if for this how much yeah, how much uh, is the length that i have to draw about so that i can do find how much. do it in the middle middle of the page no no i have um, This much is used. Only this much is left. Ha! It's okay. You can. It will. It should fit yes. down. It should fit down. Ha! So Do I it in the. Draw six point. Yeah. Three over here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So how much is no? And write on that, huh? Six point three centimeters. Once you're done with this, tell me. We'll do. Done. Done. Now you need your protractor. Take your protractor because angle TAM is given fifty degree. So that means angle A is fifty. Take your protractor. Protractor means it's red. No, no, this, this thing, this thing. That's a compass. What's in your protractor? What's in your hand? That is called compass. There's a D is called as your protractor. Semicircle. Semicircle is called as your protractor. You have to measure angle A now. Yes, put this. This pointer, put it on yeah, angle yeah, A, know, and measure uh, and measure fifty degree. So fifty degree, you will look on this side, on the right hand side. That means now I don't know mm -hmm. how your protractor is calibrated. As per mine, you, I have to look at the upper one. So towards the right side, from where A zero is. starts, where the zero starts. You look at that yeah, angle. Going on ultra, ultra one second. Why do these protractors have this thing over What? here? It makes it so hard to uh, draw. No, in the middle only it's uneven. Let's see. Uneven. Uneven. Like it's broken over here. It's broken. Okay. Even if it's new, it's like it has like a. Stop over there. So the pencil comes and stop. No problem. Okay. How much should I take? Measure fifty degree. And draw a ray. Yeah, I did that. Draw a ray of fifty degree, like this. So you can just name this here. Put a sign here and name fifty degree. Now. third side is 5.6 cm okay so to draw the third side i think you know how to do it on your compass on your yeah, compass yeah huh. now what do i take compass uh, on your compass now we have to draw yes we have to draw a third side now so our third side is and uh, 5.6 cm so on your compass And with the help of your scale, measure five point six. You've taken five point six. Okay. Done. Now put the pointer on just... point A. Put it on point A. Yeah, yeah. And, and cut it. Draw arc on the same ray, like this. Yeah, done. Done. Now I see join it. Yeah. Now join this arc to M. Like this, and name this as T, and you know A T is five point six centimeters. Okay. And uh, so, what about uh, this? What about point T M? And write no, it, it down. No, 
Okay. No, it's not open. Not because required. I did that. It's five point one, and then I underlined. No, oh, okay. It's not required, but it's okay. If you have written, it is okay. Okay. Now, no. Again, I'm reminding you what we are doing here. Bigger triangle is given, and we are constructing the smaller one from it. In the previous one, smaller was given, and we were constructing the bigger one. Now, when a bigger triangle is given, and you are constructing the smaller one. what you have to do is you have to divide the base there what we did we drew a ray down and we divided the uh, ray here you have to divide your base into the ratio what was the ratio given ratio was 7, 7 upon, upon 5 yes am upon ah is given 7 upon 5 So you see the maximum, which is greater. Seven is greater, or five seven. is greater. Seven is greater. So here you have to divide your base into seven equal parts, with the help of Are your, they... with the help of your uh, compass. Okay, with the help of your compass. Not divider, divider because I don't have. Compass, compass. No, not divider. Eight. But how will you do seven? This is so small. Six point three only. So, How is your six point three so big? Because I have zoomed. I have zoomed in. No, that's why it looks big. I have zoomed. See, that's why it looks quite big. So you so have six point three divided by seven. You should do. So yes. That is nine. So what you do is you have to take Zero less. Zero point nine. Take less than one centimeter. No, then only... you just divided by seven. No. Oh, so okay. when you divide six so point you divide six point three by seven, hmm. you get zero point nine. Hmm. That so is it. Approximately one. Yeah, take zero point nine. Mine is not okay. becoming, so I will not able to do. I will take zero point nine. Huh. Six arcs. I should make. Yeah, no seven arts. How seven arts? Seven parts, six arts. I six six arts correct. Six six arts, seven parts correct. Six. Done. 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 Okay, one minute. Let me also just do it. i will have to do with the scale because my protractor my compass is not fitting it doesn't go below 1 cm no it does it doesn't go more less than 2.3 Oh no no! We are doing it by scale. We should have done it properly. Zero point nine centimeters. You have to take zero point nine. Yeah, zero point nine it is. now what now uh the ratio how is the you ratio tell me so i'll do no the the ratio uh 
Seven upon four. Other one is five. So at the fifth part. From on left the fifth right. arc. Fifth arc. From your left side. Okay. From this side. From this side. The fifth arc. Okay. At that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fifth arc. You, you have to draw a line which will be parallel to TM. Okay. Apo. At the fifth. With the help of a scale. How we do drew parallel lines? So suppose, just for example, suppose if this is the fifth arc. How okay, did this we arc. draw parallel lines? I forgot. Yeah, so for parallel line, you need a compass first. Take your compass. Now you have to draw the line parallel to which side? Parallel to TM you have to draw. Yeah. Okay, so uh, your compass, put the pointer on point M and mm. draw an arc which will cut both the sides, this side and the base. Draw an but arc like this. What if it comes in the middle of those arcs which I have drawn? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I'll take a more distance. I can take this much. No, that's too big. That's too big. Even mine is too big. Actually, it has to not be like this. Then this much? It can come little bit more than Boy, take one centimeter. Take one okay. centimeter. Take one centimeter and draw and the arc. Last time I taken one centimeter and it has gone all messy. Hmm. No, okay. this is okay. You take one centimeter. One and centimeter. I have taken zero point nine as that ah, arc. One okay. centimeter is just in front of that other arc. Ah, it's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. It's looking like this here yeah, actually. One. Yeah. Hmm. Well, fine. It's okay. See, yeah. Look at the distance in the middle. Hmm. So it's small. A, no, it's okay. That does not matter. It's okay. We have to draw a parallel line. What is important is the line should be parallel. Now take out that arc. Uh, take out your compass pointer and put the pointer on the fifth arc. Okay. Why fifth arc? Because it is seven upon five. So put it on the fifth arc. And draw the distance should be the same. Yeah, no changing there. And draw a similar. Yeah, same way. It has to cut the base, huh? And do it little only big the from base. Ha, base. No need. It has to because not. It cut is not the, reaching only the end. No, no, it should not. No, it's it should not. not. And do sufficiently big enough, huh? Not too big, medium size big. Mm, okay. Then the now. Now take out your compass from there and come to your previous arc, the first arc that you drew. And put the pointer, yeah. put the pointer on the arc where it cuts the base. Put it here. Yeah. And measure the length of the arc. See, like this. From pointer and pencil mm -hmm. point should be on this side. Done? Measure? Yeah, I have to put it on the scale and see how much. Now come to the second arc. Is, oh, one point is one. Hmm. You don't have to measure, uh, know the length. Okay. Measure it with so the help measure. of, uh, with the compass, with the compass, okay. like, like this, how I have done, uh, like this. This hmm. way, measure, this, this is the meaning of measuring it with the compass. Oh. Clear? Done? Yeah. Now take yeah. it out. Take it out and come to your sec, uh, second arc that you had done, and put yeah. it on put it on the point where it touches the base that arc. Yeah. And cut yeah, that yeah. arc. Cut that arc. Which arc? The second one. How? Oh, it's not even reaching. Show me. <laughs> ah, so, so you'll have to extend this one. You'll have to make it little big. Cut it first. Where cut, I extend? extend it from upwards. Upwards. And I should cut the same arc. Yes. And keep it here. Yeah, you'll have to keep so it that. Cut this one. Yes, the same arc. Yes. yes. Oh, that I can do. Hmm. <laughs> so you'll get a point of intersection.
show me now yeah now from the fifth arc to the point of intersection draw a line hello yeah now draw a line what happened hello. yeah can you hear me can you yeah, hear me yeah. Yeah, what were you saying? Now, from the fifth arc to the point of intersection, draw a line which will be parallel to that uh, uh, TM, to side a TM. No, it's not parallel. Show. One keep minute, keep po position your scale properly. Yeah, that is what I do not Yeah, perfect. Yes, this is perfect. And you have to now name that also. What was that? That was uh, e. e. A. T. T. No, T is this one, no? No, that was the fifth M arc. No, the fifth. The fifth arc is H, and that point here is E. So A H E. Fifth arc. The fifth arc on the base, the fifth arc that you took, that point is H. Fifth arc, you take it to be H. Oh, and, that is it. And the above. One, one, one minute, one minute. Shoot, shoot, shoot. One minute. Something oh, H and. This is E. Here where it touches will no, be E. No, actually what mine is happening, you know. Mm. One second, I'm really. My diagram is not what perfect. mine is happening now, this is coming here. Like this. So these two are touching. These what two, two are touching here. <laughs> huh, that is okay. The arc, na? Arcs you're saying, na? Arcs are touching. One, one. Show it to me on your diagram, on your book, na? Like this, my thing has come. Mm -hmm. So this is touching here, like this. So when it's touching here, if I write H here, no. Then it looks as if I'm writing the line is H and the arc is also H on. So write it below a little bit. But I have to write it, I have to draw a point. No. Show it to me on your book. I'm not understanding on the diagram. See where H are written. Arc uh, and line both are same. Huh, yeah, it has to be same. Yes, arc and that line where it is touching. It has to be same. That is point H. Okay, Correct. Huh. It has to be that way. If it is not that way, then means yours is wrong. Okay. So that's it. So with, this is huh? right. Huh? Yeah, it's right. It's right. What do I name? H you, and E. E. So that's A H E. And I named W also. W. Huh, okay, that's okay. 
No, that's okay. Done. So get the difference between the second sum and this one. In the second sum, bigger triangle was given. You had to construct a smaller one. So that's why we had to do a ray below. We had to draw an extra ray. While in this sum, the length of the bigger triangle is given and we had to construct a smaller one. So you, by, you divide the base in this case. In this case, we divided the base. While in the previous one, we had to draw a ray slanting downwards and we had to divide that ray. Is this some clear? Yeah. Now I want you to practice this again. Yes. Okay. Practice this again. And tomorrow we will start with tangents, construction of tangents of next exercise. Okay. We'll stop here.